Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, my name is Barbara and I'm an alcoholic. My question is a step eight topic. What are some examples of amends we can't or shouldn't make? Nearly six years ago, I came into Alcoholics Anonymous, so broken and full of self-pity. I put the drink down and did the suggested things. Get a home group, get a sponsor and do the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Sponsorship is critical to all of the 12 steps, but it's essentially helpful at this stage. Step eight, a sponsor can guide um, can offer guidance and expert input and information from their own experience. Working these steps, they are they can identify holes in my logic, places where I'm holding back, and ill-advised choices like making amends to a person who does not want to hear from you. When I was drinking, I clung to the belief that I had not harmed anybody. In fact, I blamed others for my drinking. This behaviour I learnt is often referred to as playing the victim or externalising blame. It involves shifting responsibility for one's actions onto others rather than taking ownership of them. As I started to work my way through the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, I saw at step four that I had blamed others and had indeed caused harms. I started to take ownership of my actions and feelings rather than blaming others for them, which required self-reflection, honesty and a willingness to change. Arriving at step eight, which allows us to make a thorough list of the people we have harmed. One example of an amend which should not be made is if it would cause harm to oneself or others. For example, if apologising to someone would put them in danger or jeopardise their safety, it may not be appropriate to make amends at that time. Additionally, if making amends would cause emotional harm or trauma to oneself or others, it may be best to seek guidance from your sponsor. Another example of an amend that may not be appropriate is if it would violate someone's privacy or confidentiality. In some cases, sharing personal information or details about someone's life without their consent could be harmful and may not be the best way to make amends. It is also important to consider whether making amends would be genuine and sincere. If an apology or amend is made simply to appease someone or avoid consequences, it may not have the intended positive impact on the relationship. First, it is important to rein yourself in. Avoid the urge to say or promise things impulsively. This is a delicate process that requires forethought, reflection and strong commitment. If you find yourself jumping to make things right, that's a great instinct. Just be sure that you can practice what you preach in the years to come. Remember that part of making amends is demonstrating changed behaviour. Even concrete steps like repaying a debt aren't done once you hand money over. You also have to avoid betraying that person in the future. For this reason, amends are an ongoing process without an end date. Thank you for listening. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.